This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the HTC MyTouch 3G for T-Mobile, otherwise known as the HTC Magic overseas. This is the second Android Google OS phone available in the U.S., both of which have been available from T-Mobile so far, and it features Android OS 1.5 Cupcake, which is also available for the T-Mobile G1 if you own one of those. We're going to take a quick look at the user interface so you can see what it's like if you haven't played with an Android phone before and you can see how responsive it is. So there's a capacitive display like the iPhone, so it's pretty easy to work with with the finger. There's your application drawer right here. You can scroll through with the flick. It's pretty quick. There's no lag. The home screen has three pages. So this is the main page right here. You can put icons, whatever you want here, shortcuts to web pages, and all that kind of thing. And you can run widgets, too. There are a few widgets pre-installed, and there's ones you can download. Like I've downloaded Weatherbug. You can tap on that to get a full weather report. CNN has breaking news. Again, you can tap on that to make it bigger and see bigger list of news and go to their website, ESPN widget. And you can put, like I said, speed dials even here, which I've done. So it's a, it's a very flexible and intuitive interface. You've got Google Search right here, and this button also launches Google Search if you don't want it on your home page, and you can use voice search with this. So you don't actually have to type in anything on the on-screen keyboard. Let's take a look at the on-screen keyboard. We can tap in the field right here to bring up the on-screen keyboard, or we can actually long press on the menu button. That's a shortcut. This is the standard Android keyboard here. It's also available in landscape mode, and it is easier to use. And press the menu, menu button again to make it go away. Do the long press. Let's go on application where you can see the landscape keyboard. In fact, let's take a look at browser at the same time. This is a WebKit-based browser like the iPhone and like the Palm Pre. You can switch to landscape mode using the accelerometer that's built in. As you can see, it's pretty easy to scroll. There is no pinch zoom, so if you want to zoom in, you can use the zoom controls here, double tap. Well, let's say we want to go to a different website. We bring up the URL bar here. You can also speak, if you noticed. All right, and here's the landscape keyboard, which is pretty easy to use. 3.2 inch display, so the, key, the keys are fairly roomy. I wouldn't say it's quite as good as the iPhones, but it's it's pretty good. And let's take a look at Telenav. Telenav is a $10 a month subscription service that gives you spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions. Google Maps is, of course, standard on this. Every Google app that you can ever want is pretty much standard on this, including Google Talk, Gmail, uh, Google Voice Search, Google Maps, it's all there. But for those of you wondering about what Telenet has to offer, I'll give you a quick show. Here's your usual Telenet screen. It looks the same on pretty much every phone you've seen. You can go to Maps and Traffic, and it'll get a GPS fix. Generally pretty quickly. It's better than the G1 in that respect. And it loads the map. Like so. Also works with the accelerometer. And you can search for POIs, you can speak it or type it, addresses, all relative to your current location. You can pick categories, it's got a large selection of categories, food, gas stations, hotels, parking lots, Wi-Fi access points, post offices, pretty much everything. Spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions are clear and they're fairly loud. This has a decent speaker on it, which seems to be firing somewhere from the back. Well, there's no grill here. Speaking of the back, the black one has a soft touch finish, which is a little bit more grippy. The white and the Merlot, or wine red ones, are gloss plastic. And we'll take a quick look at the Google Android Marketplace. This is equivalent to the iTunes Store for applications. This is what the interface looks like. You can initially search for apps, games, type in a search term, and you can go to My Downloads. So anything you've downloaded, it remembers, and you can re-download it again including things that you paid for. You can re-download those in a limited number of times as long as the phone is set up with your Gmail address that you used when you purchased the application. That's pretty nice. So you can search for a variety of application types. Say we want to look for entertainment apps. You can sort by popularity and by date. And you get ratings right here, and you can see feedback from folks who have downloaded the application and what they think of it. You can scroll through the list like that. 
and we'll take a look at one. So you can see the individual view. It also tells you approximately how many folks have downloaded the program to give you an idea of popularity. Ratings over here. You can send emails to the developer directly from the programs page. So it's pretty friendly. It's 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 fun to to browse through the applications and there are plenty of free ones that are worthwhile to download. Take a quick look at the music player, which is a real no frills application. Something that Google needs to work on is jazzing this up a little bit, especially be competitive with the iPhone, which of course has the fanciest media player. A little view by artist. So you get a listing of all the songs on the album. Start the first song. So you do get album art. It's available when you copy it over to the phone. And playback controls. It's not bad, it's not horrible, but it's not super, super wow. There's still no video player on board, but you can download a free video player, and there is YouTube. We'll take a look at YouTube real quick. YouTube videos do show up in the web browser, and when you tap on them, they link through to the YouTube player which is a little better than Windows Mobile where you just see it blank. And we'll just take a look at whatever is most popular at the moment. A little Brad Pitt action. It plays in landscape mode. It automatically plays in HQ mode. And we're doing this over T-Mobile's 3G network right now. So it looks pretty good. So that's the T-Mobile MyTouch 3G by HTC. Visit mobiletechreview.com to read our full review.